So what we're looking at are actually atoms. So this is really a very exciting time for Rutgers. The two microscopes that Rutgers now has places Rutgers in the absolute lead of all universities. There is no other university that has both a new electron microscope and an IMB microscope. We are looking at the helium ion microscope. When you talk about microscopes, most people would think about light microscopes. But we need to look at things that are much, much smaller than that. This is an electron microscope. It's a little bit like the difference between using a pair of binoculars to look at the moon and the Hubble telescope to look at the moon. Nanomaterials impact our lives. They are used in cancer therapies and drug deliveries. Learning how to, how to pull as much energy from sunlight into a material and convert it into power. Nanoscale electronics has driven the silicon age, and one of the nicest examples is the memory stick that we all use that holds gigabits of, of memory. They all benefit from the ability to understand at the atomic level how materials and devices function. The fact that we have this kind of a microscope puts us at the forefront of research in these areas. It gives us capabilities that very few, if any, other universities have. Uh, and it puts us in a better competitive situation to get new grants and to integrate work between the physical sciences and the biological sciences and applied sciences.